I am afraid of a few things. Grasshoppers, wasps, earthquakes for sure, because there is no warning with those. But what I'm most scared of is being mediocre. Mm. Hello everybody, this is Kelly Stamps. In case you're new watching, uh, this is a ladle. Yes, I usually have a spatula, which is my microphone, but I left it at home, which is where? In Dallas, Texas, which is why I'm feeling unmotivated, honestly. Let me, let me just back up for a second. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. I know that you need help because whenever I say these things, you agree with me. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through this creative rut that we are all in, even if you're not a creative person doing this for a living. I cannot stand the feeling of feeling stuck, feeling like there's a writer's block, whatever it is. I've been figure skating every single day. It's so fun to let out that inner child and just learn something. I already did know, so it's not new, but just branching off on that, going on walks, writing, just writing ideas and crumpling them up, throwing, just trying new things. I want to continue working with a therapist. I admit, I did stop doing therapy as of December because I thought that I was good. I'm like, I'm good. No, I'm not. Like, you'll never be perfect. There's always room for therapy because if you're a creator watching, you know exactly what I'm going through. We start businesses like YouTube or, you know, creating your own brand to work for ourselves, but then we end up making decisions that aren't for ourselves. We make decisions for the business. Like I was posting on my Instagram stories the past two weeks. I'm going to move back to New York. I have to move back because my channel is slowing down. It's growing at a normal rate. I miss skyrocketing. I miss being in an aspirational city because my viewers, are in, they're addicted to it. I get a lot more people because people like New York, but I don't care about that. At the end of the day, I just wanna be happy. So as you already know, with BetterHelp, you can access their 20,000 plus licensed therapist network. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. If you've ever searched for a counselor in your area, you know that it can take weeks or even months to just get a phone call back. But with BetterHelp, you can start communicating within just 48 hours, it's very quick. BetterHelp is available for Stanford students and clients worldwide, and you can log in anytime to send a message to your therapist. And as you already know, you'll get timely and thoughtful responses instead of, you know, bombarding your friends with your issues and then getting mad when they don't understand it. Get a professional therapist. You can schedule weekly video or phone calls and it's just, it's ultimate flexibility. BetterHelp also commits to finding a therapeutic match for you. So if you don't like your therapist for whatever reason, it is free and easy to switch. There's no awkwardness about it. It's more affordable than traditional therapy. Financial aid is available online and it's cheaper than booking trips to New York every single time you get in a creative rut. Myself and BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so go to my link, betterhelp.com stamps. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional today. And as usual, I'm giving you 10% off your first month, the Stampede discount, just at betterhelp.com stamps. By the way, I just wanna say, I can't, I can't see the numbers of people signing up for this, but I am so impressed by the feedback that I'm getting. So many people are actually signing up when I say these things because you know that you need it. You need professional help. Even if you don't feel like you're losing your mind right now, we all need help. So in order to get a head start into 2022, I decided that I need a weave. I need a sew-in. If you watched my past video, you know that I've been carrying bundles in my purse. This is my tote bag. It's from Mitsuwa. It's very cute as a Shiba. I've been carrying bundles around every single day for the past month. New year, new me, new weave, you best believe. Okay, I'm very excited about this. Nothing sets the mood like a new hairstyle. That will be the kickstart for me to unlock my, my path to higher creativity. I think it will work. So I have to go, I'm going to Harlem to my favorite hairstylist. I found her on Craigslist years ago when I first moved here, back when I was making that video. Like I moved to New York on my own. And she does such a great job. She's affordable and she does not like skimp on you. She's not the kind of hairstylist who will leave you hanging. She's not gonna be like, come with your hair already halfway braided. People have so much nerve out here. In Dallas, they treat me so well. They're like, come with your hair not washed even if you want. You should come, you know what? Come fully naked. Like they are just like, come as you are. I'm going 
to Harlem. There's something about getting a new hairdo. See, look. Nothing's wrong with my hair right now, but I just, I feel like bald head skittle diddle is not the way to go into the new year. I love the crisp, cold air of the East Coast. It's just so rich. Mm. Closure and two bundles. This is where we're at. We got two bundles. It's pretty full for just two. put some little curls in my hair. Okay. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go to Camille's place and go hang out with her and her dog. I feel very pretty right now. I love my hair. I love it, I love it. It's nice protective style for this harsh New York winter and the harsh people and the, even the pigeons here are harsh. They look at me like, Where's Misha? Misha? Hello, Misha. Yay, Misha! Girl. Yay! What, which camera is that? This is the Sony ZV-1. Here we go. Hello, Misha! Like, Misha, oh. sit. Misha. Here we go. I'll lure her in. Here we go. This is like the last picture I took of her. Wait, can I take a photo? Or do you want a video? Oh, I'll do an LA. Here, oh, I'll film Misha. I'll swap with you. I'll give you oh, my right. camera. Out for rats. Ah, dirty. Dirty. Oh, we're somewhere. We're on Ludlow. She's also the New York Wait, Even though. Shot of you and Misha. Okay. I'm a dog owner. Misha. Look, it's you. It's your cousin. Oh my God. Wait. This is the roast duck with noodle and soup. Got some hot tea. Mm -hmm. 
This is so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I love Chinatown. Great New York Noodle Town was so good. It was so fast and delicious. I've never had my food come out that quickly. I'm on my way back to where I'm staying now. I'm really happy that I got to see one of my three friends here that I consider to be somewhat close. She has the very cute Shiba Inu. Misha also says hi to you. Misha says hi. She was very well behaved today. She didn't attack any other small dogs, which is always good. We love. When she's, we end things on a good note with her. I don't like duck. I think what I didn't like about it is just the fact that it's duck. There's nothing wrong with it. It tasted like dark meat chicken, but I just don't, no, uh, no. It was quacking once, that's sad. I'm gonna call it a night tonight. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new one for tomorrow and the upcoming days. Well, enjoy. Let me step further away from this platform. There's a lot of crazy people out there right now. I gotta be careful. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to another day of surviving in New York City. New York City is truly a survival game because I've only been here for a few days and I'm already coming down with something. This time it's not bad bitch syndrome. So I'm gonna give you an update. Still, almost, sorry, I watched Law and Order SVU and I'd never actually been in an apartment by myself in New York City so I'm like, that's just, that's housekeeping. Um, where was I? Giving an update. I genuinely don't care about moving here anymore. Now that I'm settled and I'm remembering, oh, that's right, seasonal depression's a thing. Everyone around me is sad and I'm happy. Oh, that's right, because I don't live here. You know, New York is very much a toxic boyfriend or girlfriend or partner, whatever because you like to remember all the good parts. You like to remember, in my case, ow! Hold on. You like to remember the positives. Oh, I truly do find it easier to make videos because I'm always in a relatively jippy mood. Is that a word? I find myself more motivated because I'm surrounded by YouTubers and I hear them doing things and I wanna do things too. You know, it's like being just in the right environment. Uh, for creating because there's so many of us here and it's a very isolated job like when I tell you I'm isolated isolated look at my videos like I'm just alone in Dallas I have a friend Kiana but she's just visiting before that I was alone for several months alone every single day without a single friend which I genuinely again as an introvert I don't care but even introverts want at least one person and then the cons that you remember of New York is oh that's right the apartments seem to get smaller every time you come back. But I just don't feel the need to move. I really don't. Well, I feel the need to move out of my current building, that's for sure. I have like an active restraining order against one neighbor in the works. Another one, don't even get me started. Another one, if you watch my live streams on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna get into it around this video, but until I move out, just so he doesn't try to like kill me. But one of my neighbors asked me for $10,000 cash. It's the way that he asked. It's, it's just, there's a lot of entitlement in Dallas and a lot of rich kids from all over the country who go there. And I'm just appalled at this. I've never had anyone ask me for money in my life like, like that. You know, if you have a sibling or something and they ask you, hey, can you spot me $30? Sure, but 10,000, I'm like, 
if you saw my live stream, I showed you the text that I sent back. I'm like, why would I give you that? First of all, I'm offended that you said, no, I won't go to my parents because I'm embarrassed. So you're not embarrassed to go to me? That's rude. That's not a reason to move out, but there's a lot of issues I'm having with neighbors just because in these big so-called luxury properties, they really just let in anybody. They let anyone walk in, I think. They do background checks. Maybe people are falsifying their reports or something, but there's like felons in my building apparently. One has caused issues for me already. Harassment in every way, shape and form you could think of has happened. Married men trying to hit that stamp. And I'm like, ah, get away from me. Do you not have any shame? Do you not have any, they're, oh. I'm not gonna get into this, I'm not right now. I'm supposed to be healthy 2022, out with the old, in with the new. New year, new weave, new me. Dallas memories are in the past. This is my outfit of the day. Oh. Another day, another sleigh. Just for the record, that was not my magic conch cracking. That was the inside of my hip. So at this point, I decided that I'm not going to upload this video until I leave. So I don't mind sharing this information I'm about to tell you. Meaning, if you're a creepy person, don't show up to this place thinking I'm there. But I'm staying at this beautiful building called Sonder. Now, you've probably heard of it, but it's, you know, kind of like Airbnb, I guess. I don't know if they're owned by the same company or whatnot. But I got a pretty good deal. For two weeks, it was $2,000 or so. Um, after taxes, it's like 2200 I love that apartment. I would live in it month to month if I ever considered New York again. I really would. They have a doorman. Well, not a doorman, but they have concierge going on there. It's very clean, as you can see. It's actually a spacious studio apartment. Um, Shelby Church stayed in it. I came to her apartment. If you watched my last New York City vlog video, she stayed over there. And I really liked it, so I'm staying there now. I'm walking through Battery Park right now. Hold on, can I see the Statue of Liberty? I've never been over here, actually. In all the years that I've lived in New York City, on and off, I don't think I have ever come down this way. I can see the Statue of Liberty. Let's go, let's go. Hurry up. There she is, there's the Statue of Liberty. This is Battery Park, it's very quiet and quaint. Hmm.